Cambodia of King Moradong Sihanani has come under criticism for failing to intervene in the crisis in the country's parliamentary election after he ordered parliament to convene despite the allegations of voter fraud and other irregularities that the opposition wants to investigate. But some experts say that the king has limited influence in a political landscape dominated by the Cambodian People's Party of Prime Minister Hun Sen, CPP, which claimed victory in the July 28th poll by government-appointed National Election Commission, NEC. The opposition Sam Rengzi Party, Cambodia's National Rescue, CNRP, which rejected the CPP of a majority of two-thirds of the legislature, had threatened to boycott the new parliament and called on the king to help bring a transparent and just solution to the dispute. Analysts say that the king, although his limited powers, can still play an important role in defusing the crisis by using its influence to prod Hun Sen to forge a compromise with Sam Rengzi in the national interest. King Sihamani said in a statement from China, where he has a medical checkup since August 12, that he will return to Cambodia on Wednesday to convene the National Assembly, the country's parliament, on September 23rd, encouraged all parties to join the session. The king must take action to seek national unity, political analyst Soft Touch said to the RFA's Khmer service, hoping the kings would appear with a formula to break the political stalemate after his return. I hope and believe that when king returned to Cambodia, he will call on Khmer politicians of both parties to resolve the dispute, he said. He said that if the situation required him to do so, the king should not fear speaking out against Hun Sen party because the people will support him. We regard the king as the shade which protects us from the sun, he said. If the king only in royal palaces, how can the people be protected? The king's armies? It is the people of Cambodia. So, your royal princess, please don't worry. The Cambodian people will support you. Protect the monarchy but Prince Cesar Ralph Tomiko, a member of CNRP and former advisor to King Sihamani, saying that the king might be wary of using his influence to break the deadlock when it can have the risk of endangering the monarchy itself. CPP, he said, there are at least twice as a direct threat against the institution of the monarchy once in 2005. When Hun Sen warns the king to his throne is at stake if he has confirmed border treaties Cambodia-Vietnam, and again in 2006 when senior party Chin Yap said the CPP could abolish the monarchy just as it was going to install it again. Who holds the power present? Prince Tomiko asked. Who controls the army, the police, the armed forces? He said Hun Sen would step in a military coup to post the monarchy at any time. Let the institution of the monarchy to be independent, the king must have a balance of power in society, the Khmer Rouge and the Khmer Rouge of our politics. Currently, the king does not have this, Prince Tomiko said. King Sihamani, a former ballet dancer, is a pale shadow of his father, King Muradam Sivanak, who was a powerful and influential figure both in the country for almost six decades before he died last year. We have to understand the heart of the king, the prince Tomiko said. Superfluous came to the throne from his father, so he has to defend it. Congress. Nick, which manages the country's polls, on Sunday announced the official results of the polls for the CPP in the National Assembly majority light with 68 seats of the CNRP 55. CNRP which claims it won at least 63 seats and called for an investigation into the United Nations advocating to probe the widespread fraud in the polls, has refused to recognize the results and is planning a series of mass protests against them this week. On Sunday, its lawmakers say CNRP will boycott the session open to prevent a thorough investigation into election irregularities. Hun Sen, 57, who has been in power for 28 years and was accused of blatant human rights abuses, said before the announcement of the final result that he can summon parliament even without the participation of the CNRP. Some constitutional experts have said that opposition lawmakers are present at the first session of the parliament for any new government to be confirmed. CPP declared, however, that it has the right to convene parliament 
because it has 50% of the seats. Fresh calls for investigation. Human Rights Watch on Tuesday called on Cambodia's national sponsors to refrain from supporting the official results and instead press for an independent probe into the election process. Bias and unfairness in the electoral system, structural problems, and allegations of widespread irregularities could change the outcome of a close election, the group's ASI.